Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to compare the last three months to find negative differences in Search Console. Hey everyone, I'm Tia Jones with Mastering Pop, which is mastering profitability over popularity. I'm also the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom Workflow Bundle, which is a digital marketing course that's available right now. Today, I'm going to show you how to analyze a drop in impressions in Search Console. But before I do this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a video. I upload digital marketing videos that will help you to generate more revenue and scale your store faster. Okay, so you're going to log into your search console and the first thing we're going to do is we are going to click on performance. Uh, once you click on performance, you're then going to see total clicks, total impressions, average click through rate and average position, right? So what we want to do is we want to click on the last three months and we want to make sure that this is checked because we're going to compare the last three months to the previous period. Okay. You can see the dates here. So we're going to hit apply. And as you can see, uh, it's now comparing the last three months to the previous three months. And obviously everything across the board has improved. Uh, the clicks have improved. The total impressions have improved. The click through rate has improved. And so is the average position. So this is definitely what you want to see. You want to see improvements from the last three months to the previous three months. So what we're going to do next is we are going to scroll down and we are going to uh, filter the impressions. So what I like to do is I like to filter the difference in impressions because if we are able to see which pages or which queries have um, the impressions have dropped, then we can then optimize those pages uh, so that we can rank better or at least to improve our clicks, right? So uh, we clicked on impression difference and what we're going to do next is we have equals, not equals, greater than and smaller than. We want to select smaller than zero because anything that's had a drop in impressions, it's going to show here on the right hand side, right? So now we can see uh, the previous period and we can see the difference, right? So we can see the last three months and the previous three months. And with some of these queries, there's been obviously a significant drop. Uh, there's been a drop with um, flower bong, freeze pipe. Uh, you can see the impressions previously was 13,656. Now we're down to 6,412. Um, Floral bong, there was impressions used to be 715, now it's 483. Game Boy rolling tray, 502 to 216. So what I want to do is I want to, you can, you can easily click on pages to see the pages uh, that these queries uh, serve up, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Game Boy rolling tray. And then I'm going to click on pages so that I can go to this page to see why is it that the impressions in the previous three months was higher than the last three months, right? As you can see, we've lost a lot of clicks. We went from 120 clicks to 25 clicks. So we're gonna go to this page. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the, the product is sold out. All right, so the product is sold out and that's probably one of the reasons why the, the clicks there's not a lot of clicks, right? So, so there's probably not a lot of clicks because the product is probably displaying out of stock in Google search results. So that would make sense, right? So if it's displaying out of stock in Google, then there's going to be less clicks. So let's double check this for ourselves. So we're going to do this incognito. We're going to type in game Wait, Game Boy Rolling Tray, I think that's what it was, Flower Power Packages. And we'll just see what comes up here. All right, so here we go. Um, so as you can see, the product is out of stock. So if this is being served up in Google, people are seeing that it's out of stock, so they're not clicking on it. Um, so how do we resolve this issue to at least um, get clicks? Um, we can either redirect this product page to a similar product or 
redirect it to a collection page of grinders. Um, but there are obviously no similar, I don't offer any similar grinders to this rolling tray. This rolling tray, uh, you can actually play video games on it. As you can see, 240 video games. So I don't have any similar products. So I'm not sure if this product is going to come back in stock. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it anymore. But as of right now, uh, the product is out of stock and it, it looks like we even rank well for the term. So I'm going to leave this product as is for now until I can think of a, a solution as to what I want to do. But we now know that there's less clicks because it's showing is out of stock in the search results. Okay. So this is what I usually do when I want to uh, work on uh, optimizing my pages. I dive into search console. I check out the impressions and I look at the differences. I compare it to the last, the previous three months. And then I just start working my way down the queries and I start improving the pages. All right, that's it. Hopefully you found this helpful.